you? What's good, bro, bro? How you doing, man? What's good, Matthew? I'm glad you first one in the chat, bro, with the thumbs up. I appreciate it, bro, bro. I got some waiver wires for y'all today, and whatever y'all you know want to ask me, man, we can. We're gonna try to win these leagues, man. This is our last week, man. I know some of us got to win this uh this week, man, just to get into the playoffs, bro. So I know how it is. So, yeah, guys, guys, if y'all ain't checked it out, I just released my waiver wire video. So, guys, y'all can go ahead and check that out. Um, And whatever questions you got about the waiver wire or tonight's game or DFS, whatever you want, I'm here for that, guys. I'm going up uh, up to an hour. Or if it's less than that, if no more questions, then it'll be a little less than that. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm here for y'all today. Matthew, he says, who you adding, Hinton, Acres, or Debo? You say Hinton? I like that, bro. That's a nice joke. <laughs> oh, buddy. Um, Acres, um, Debo ain't on my waiver wires. If he was, I go, I get him. But uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get Acres. I hope too many people don't come in my chat, man, and find out, man, and try to outbid me. But I'm going out to Acres, bro. Guys, if you're in here, man, I appreciate you in here. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep giving you cutting edge information. Yep, I'm going out to Acres, bro, bro. It's just because he got up. He got upside. And I'm going to play him in the flex. You know, I already got my team kind of, you know, good, you know, so I'm just, I need some upside. I'm just trying to. I need boom players. That's why I talked to talk to y'all about Tyree Kill and told y'all to, well, y'all wouldn't with me in the beginning, but I, I drafted Tyree Kill in every single one of my leagues, guys, because the boom, that's how you win. If one guy boom for like 50, 60 points, most likely you, the other person not going to win that week unless you have a guy that boom too. But even if all your guys score like 15 points, if that guy go like for 50 points, man, it's probably it's, it's over for you. So you need to get guys that's going to boom. You don't need to safe floors and when you get in um the playoffs, guys. Yep. So let me go ahead and start talking about some things about tonight's game, guys, since we're waiting for people to get in the chat. And also, too, guys, let me do this real quick. Um Let me see something real quick, guys. I'm sorry. I hope this don't mess anybody up. I just got to get this, this link real quick. I'm going to put this link in the chat, guys. This is the link for my PayPal If y'all, because I know y'all cannot uh, super chat me. So if y'all ever want to just give, it don't matter what it is. You got to give anything, guys. I appreciate everybody being here. But if you ever want to, I'm just going to put it out there so y'all can, can find it. Hold on. Let me do something real quick. Okay. Okay. Let me see something real. Okay. Control C. Okay. Bam. There we go. Uh. There y'all go right there. And then, like I said, guys, I'm not asking for anything. I just appreciate y'all here. I just want to give y'all the opportunity if you do want to do that. But yeah, so let's get on to some questions about tonight's game. Okay. So. Guys, I don't know. I hope I know a lot of you don't play DFS, but I love it. Especially through like um Thanksgiving. It was a nice little slate. The Baltimore would have made it better, but you know, um the COVID situation, guys. And I'm I'm for Tuesday. I don't know about y'all guys, but for Tuesday, um I got uh so I got Gus Edwards, um I got Benny Snail. And I got two defensive players, IDPs, to play tonight. So I got uh, maybe four or five guys. I got to check out my lineup that I got playing. And this guy, man, he he hit the biggest that anybody hit in, in our leagues. Like, he got 234 points. You probably average like 140, 150. He got 234. I got Tyreek Hill, and I'm still down. But I got a chance, though. And I'm not – if I lose this week, I'm still not out. Cause we all, it's like a big tie for second place. It's like five guys tied for second. So let me see 
Well, Marlon, what's going on, Marlon? He says, hey, how confident are you in to start Josh Allen versus the Steelers in fantasy playoffs? Bro, just on that question. You got to play him. That's your quarterback that you with now. So you, you go ahead and play him, bro. Um, you can't go to the waiver wire and get nobody. Now, if you want to play that game, that's fine. You could probably go some – like I see where you see Cousins. Yes, that he do got a nice uh, stream, but I think he's at Tampa Bay for what I see right there. I don't know about that, man. Do you want to put your fantasy season on Kirk Cousins or do you want to put it on Josh Allen? That's how I look at it in the playoffs because look at Deshaun Watson. He's been booming bad matchups. So sometimes you don't have to worry about the matchup. If you got, if you got a quarterback and you didn't trade for nobody, you go with the guy that you got. Um. So let me read the rest of the question. It says, oh, or do you suggest Dalton? Nope. And I'm not going with no Dalton. I'm not going with no Newton. And Taysom Hill or Fish Packer. That's I could. It you know if I had to, what I if I felt really good. Taysom Hill. I don't know, man. I just don't want to lose my fantasy because he have like a dud, bro. So that's the only thing, man. I just think Allen, man. You got to go with Josh Allen, even though it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, bro. Um, I know that might not sound right. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm okay with that, bro. But I'm just gonna tell y'all what I would do. And I'm I'm going with Josh Allen. I'm not going with I'm not streaming no quarterback. But Taysom Hill does have appeal. Fitzpatrick does have a little appeal. They playing the Chiefs, so they will push him. So those two plays have appeal. Philly defense ain't bad. They just been injured. Um, so that's how I feel about that, bro. But good, great question, guy. Hey, that's the best question so far. I mean, I know it's about like the first one, but that's a great question, man. Rex, what's going on, Rex? What's going on, bro, bro? I'm glad to see you in here, bro. Says, uh, if Gaskin comes back this week, do I play him over Ezekiel Elliott? Elliott is going against the Ravens and had a dud last. Look, man, he's been dudding a lot. That's why I got rid of him. I traded him early. Um, I'm not going to just tell you Gaskins. They might not go to Gaskins. Now, just pay attention. Now, if you got to go and pick them up off the waiver wire and you feel that's your best pickup, the best player that's out there, then you go ahead and do it. But I always fill it out because if they talking about like, well, yeah, Savon is doing back, we're going to do it with Savon and then the Gaskin, if he's healthy, then you can get the flow that Gaskin's probably won't get as many as carries as Savon um, Ahmed. So you got to figure that. You got to wait and see that, bro. Just don't go to Gaskin because of what he did. And that's the past. You got to live from week to week. That's why they let Jordan Howard go because of what Savon Ahmed did, not what Gaskin had done. So that's the only reason why I would tell you to hold off a little bit before you just go pick up Gaskins and be ready to start them. Good question, though. Matthew says, I'm calling Shanahan is going to bring Kittle back within the next two weeks of the playoff run. Bruh, I, I ain't got rid of him. I hope that happens, man, because I got him stashed on my IR, bruh. And I feel you. I've been thinking something like that, at least if it's just my if, – even just the championship game. I'm okay with that too, bruh. So I like that, man. That's a nice take, bruh, bruh. <laughs> he said, you heard it here, fam. You right, bro, bro. Hey, yeah, you welcome, Marlon, man. Thank you, guys. Guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. We got eight guys here watching this, uh, the uh, live. Give me the thumbs up, guys, so we can get this out in the algorithm. Yep. So let me get on the bus with some plays. For tonight. So, guys, I know everybody's starting Russell Wilson. Uh, that's the best player tonight. Um, as far as the quarterback, and that's DFS, and then that's just redraft too. You also gonna um stream Russell Wilson or play Russell Wilson? You got to. Um, uh, Philly does a scrimmage. They not in their flexor cots out there. They can get to the quarterback, but this is Russell Wilson too. And guys, Russell ceiling is went down a little bit, but it's okay. Don't don't let that scare you. That's gonna happen. Kyler Murray owner right now is scared. The guys are probably in first place, but he know Kyler got a little injury, so. He might not be booming in the playoffs, but that's okay because you should got you got to have a pretty good team. So you don't need to depend on one big boom to win your week. You just need Kyle not to have a dud, and I believe he can get you 20, 25 points. So that's why my top five players for the playoffs are way different than the top ten for the whole season because if the, if the, if the top ten guys are going to just take the top five and put them in the playoffs, that's that's easy, right? You would know who was going to win the fantasy draft. I mean, the fantasy playoffs or fantasy championship automatically, but you don't. You have to go 
and look at game trends. And game trends are changing every three to four weeks. Guys, I'm giving y'all some golden nuggets. So every three to four weeks, things are going to change. So now, Kyler Murray might not be the RB, I mean, the QB1. Russell Wilson might not be the QB2. It might be some different guys. So I still got to do that last video for us, my top five quarterbacks in the playoffs. I ain't done that one yet, but I've done tight end, running backs, and receivers. And check those out, guys, on the channel. But, uh, yeah, so Russell Wilson is still – it's going to be okay. You don't worry about that. Hopefully you got other nice receivers and somebody on your um, team or even on the bench is going to be trending, and you want to play those going into the playoffs. You want the guys who – he's hot. That's why I talked about Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry struggled a little bit here and there, but, guys, this playoff matchup is killer. It's booming. So let me see what's going on in the chat real quick, guys. Thank you for being here, guys. I really appreciate it. Self, what's going on, Self? I hope you subscribe to the channel, bro. I'm glad to see you here, man. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, bro. I hope you celebrated with your family and everything, man. Thank you. Says Dynasty QB. Russ. R, let me see. It says Russ. And then RB, Cook, Swift, CEH, Connor, Akers, Robert Siebel, Godwin, A-Rod, Woods, Judy, A-B, Hamler. Okay, tight ends, Fant, Hooper, Clinch playoffs, and I have the – oh, okay. He got the uh, second pick in the first round and the third pick in the first round in the rookie draft. Any suggestions? Bro, I got a player. I can't give it here. Um, I got to save him from, um, for, like, some stuff that I'm going to do for Patreon beginning of the next season. But uh, what I would tell you, man, is – um. Let me see if you got any older players that you can go and trade for it and get some of these young killers that's coming up. Let me, let me look at your uh, players real quick, quick. So I love Russ. He just hit his pre prime where he the game is mental to him. So he he pre prime now. He's no not no downside or upside. He pre in the middle of his prime. Um. So I like him. I'm not telling Cook. I look. I man. I've probably been disrespectful to Cook the last two years. Like. And he's been injured, like I think he can get. But man, he still comes back, and his his he can he's booming so much, bro, that you probably gotta pick him up. Like you gotta keep him on your uh, dynasty, or pick him up on a redraft or whatever. But I feel like you could trade him for one of these young studs like uh, Antonio Gibson, DeAndre Swift. But I see you got Swift already. Yep, you got Swift already, so that's great, bro, bro. Um, but I would maybe for Antonio Gibson, I might would trade Cook for Antonio Gibson, somebody that because uh, Gibson had any injuries. So that's one advice for you, man. Um, let me see. You got a B. OK. Bro, you got a pretty you got a pretty good team. You know, like I said, you can take some of these. Good, you could take uh, not, maybe not a Rob, but maybe Woods or somebody like that and trade for another young stud. Um, like a Justin Jefferson. I mean, it might be hard to get off of, but there's some other young studs out there, man. Um, you got Judy, man. You got a nice team, bro. So I, I like the squad, bro, bro. Um, but um, man, hit me up. Um, hit me up in my email, bro. Like later on, if you don't, if I'm not, if you can't, or just come on to a video and just ask me a question, man, about some um other things, like far as some other players. But right now, th that's that's all I can think about. But uh, yeah, bro, that's you got a good team, bro. So Rex, what's going on, Rex? Rex? Rex says it's supposed to be a rainy and have like 45 miles per hour winds tonight for the game, from what I heard. Wow, I'm glad you told me that, man. I haven't got to my I don't get to my weather until about an hour before the game. So wow. Okay, guys, you see that. So the run game is in play. Chris Carson. Um, yeah, so wow. Okay, let me see something real quick. Mm. And guys, I also hear that Wentz could be um they could be splitting um opportunities him and um Jalen Hurts. So I heard that. I don't know how true it is. I don't know if it's smoking mirrors. I don't know, guys. Guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe if you're new here. Um. So yeah, man. That's I. I appreciate that information, Rex. Hey, I feel that respect, the grind. I appreciate that, bro, bro. I pr thank you, self. I hope you uh, subscribe to the channel, man. Glad to see you here. He said, uh, I flipped Thiglin for Claypool. There you go. See, this guy can play. 
I mean, Thielen is good, man. I love Thielen. He's in my top ten, man. Um, he's wait a minute. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry about that. Hold on. Um, yeah. So he said a fifth Thielen for Claypool. That's how you do. Claypool is a monster. Claypool, guys. I'm gonna say it early, and I said it now. Claypool is on a Hall of Fame project uh, projection. That's what I because I'm breaking them down, man. I know I know my players. He's on a Hall of F Fame projection, man. He's a beast. Good hands, everything. And he said, I first, and then I flipped Claypool for Swift. Okay, okay, I feel you. I would have kept Claypool, man. That, that's the number one. That's the next Julio Jones, the next Calvin Johnson type player. But Swift is going to be a good player too, man, but he's a back. Back get hurt, so sometimes don't put everything you got into a back. Have it where even if your number one back goes down like a CMC, that you got other guys that you can put, you know, bring in too. But uh, those are nice trades, man. I can see you can wheel and deal, bro. That's what I call wheeling and dealing. Essentially stole Swift and a first. Okay, I see that. Thielen is old. Yeah, he getting old. Um, he got a couple more years uh left in him. So yeah, man, you gotta find that peak, but you don't want to trade them when they in their peak. That's what I was telling you about Russell Wilson earlier. He's in his peak, so you don't want to trade him for a Kyler Murray, and then Kyler never you lose him from year to year because Kyler never he's not hit the ceiling yet. So you want to be able to win this year and prepare for the later on years. So uh, yeah, bro. Um, so Rockout says, "What's going on, Rockout? Glad to see you here, man. I hope you subscribe to the channel, bro, bro." He says, "Claypool or Deontay Johnson? No PPR. Claypool, since it's no PPR." Hey, I appreciate you too, Seth. I appreciate you, man. Matthew says, "You at four ninety nine subs? So close, yeah, man. I'm close, man. But you know, five hundred, man. I appreciate it, but." It's not gonna do anything to me, bro. I'm ready. I'm going, bro. Like thousands gonna mean a little bit more to me than five hundred. And the only the reason it ain't because of the numbers. It's because I'm gonna be monetized at a thousand subscribers. But yeah, bro. Um, bro, it's sky's the limit. So it's really no number that I'm ever seeing. I'm be like, oh, well, okay, I made it. I, bro. I don't care if it's a million. This is YouTube. It's more than a million people on here. So I'm gonna keep striving, bro. I really just want what I'm worried about, man, is giving y'all great information, man. So y'all can be cutting edge and say y'all can win your monies and your leagues. If a lot of y'all is seven, and I said seventy percent, if seventy percent y'all come to me like Terry, man, thank you, man, we hitting, bro. That's gonna make my day. That's what I'm here for. So uh, self says reload it, cause cause I was. 500. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I seen it uh, popped up earlier, so I think I should be at 500 or 501. But guys, like I said, keep hitting the thumbs button and also uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also share my content, guys, to your friends. I know you don't want to share it to your guys, your league mates, but share it to your friends Um, you know, to try to get this out in the algorithm, guys, so we can grow as a community, not just me. It's a community because I'm not going to be one of these channels just trying to see what I can get from y'all. Guys, I'm whatever I get from y'all, I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna put it back into the channel and make sure the content is really good, and um, that way we can grow. And I, you know, I make make a little bit of money to stay here and stay keep doing YouTube. But I'm not trying to uh just haul it, get everybody money and stuff. You know, I feel like some people be like that on YouTube. So uh, let me see. Matthew says again, I have Miles Sanders and Chris Carson. If the win is that high, they might both ball out just for the run of the game. I believe so, too, bro. That's why I told a guy to play Miles Sanders the other day. Um, even though I'm not a big Miles Sanders fan, it's not Miles Sanders. It's just the offense that they rotate. So, yeah, the run game is in play. So the run game is in play, guys. I hope everybody getting that. The run game is in play tonight with the high winds and the rain. Marlon Day said, I, okay, I have Eckler. I have Eckler, too, bro, and I played him. And uh, he says, I have Eckler. Josh Jacobs, Jonathan Taylor, and Gurley, and Brian Hill. I don't, I don't know about Brian Hill and PPR League. Cam Akers, Devontae Booker available on waivers. Do you suggest uh, to get Akers Booker by dropping Gurley? Thoughts on Akers? So yeah, bro, that's my number. One. I did a video on him, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all. Go check out my video for waiver wire pickups. And Akers was my number one RB pickup, probably my number one. That's why I got him on my thumbnail for this live, because he's probably my number one pickup. Not because I feel like he's going to have 30 or 40 points, but as a flex play for boom, I'm trying to get as many points as I can for the playoffs. Akers is my best pickup. Um, 
Gurley men's just touchdown dependent. Um, I would like to stash Booker, but I want to find out, make sure that Booker's going to get those totes with Josh Jacobs being out. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to happen. But you just want to make sure that Josh Jacobs are not going to try to play hurt and they're going to try to split it. But either way, I feel like Booker has a nice flow that this week because of the injury. So I get that. So if you got to drop Todd Gurley, yeah, you do it. Don't drop Jonathan Taylor. He just he was just in contact with somebody with COVID. He don't got COVID. So I get what you're saying with that. Um, Brian Hill, you drop him immediately. Uh, Edo Smith is a better play. I just don't like Brian, man. And he might hit next week, man. But don't, guys, I'm not going to get on that tangent, but don't follow points. Like, stick to a guy that you know is nice, is talented, and you know going to get work and stay with him. Because if you start flipping both, oh, well, Brian Hill, this, well, I'm going to go to Edo, and then you might go to Edo this week, and then Brian Hill hit. Just leave it alone. You know, you. I don't think nobody's going to pick up one of those guys and beat you with because I. if they did, I would tell you that. I just don't believe that. I haven't seen that. You know, I've been playing fantasy for over four years now. I don't believe that, guys. Um. So, uh, yeah, man, I would drop Brian Hill. And you said Devontae Booker available on waivers. Pick him up or stash him because you don't want nobody to get him and beat you with. That's one of those players. Um. And he said, do you suggest to get Akers? Yes, I do. And Booker. So if you can get Akers and Booker, both of them, that'd be good, bro. And then drop Gurley. And then maybe if you got to drop Hill. Um, and I like Akers, man. He's talented. Um, the other two running backs are decent, like especially Henderson. But they, try, they try, it's the end of the year. End of the year, either they go into their beast or they young player that's that need to know how to protect in the uh, pass game. That's why you don't start them in week one. And that's why Antonio Gibson didn't get a lot of carries in week one because they have to guys teach them how to protect the quarterbacks. You could be out there and you get our quarterback leg broke. That's terrible. So that's what they do not want that, guys. But, yeah, great question, bro, bro. Seth says, yes, but Claypool has a bit of a tough schedule. Bro, so I'm, thank you. So I'm going to stop right there. That's why I got him. So when you think the Tyreek Hill four weeks ago would have been tough against Tampa Bay, bro, but those are the players that I pick up on my teams matchup proof players especially at the receiver position i want the guys that okay we're playing a tough uh team right now i need to go to my game winning player that's tyreek hill like oh travis kelsey and all. i don't care nothing about none of that yeah travis kelsey is a good tight end if you want to get him you pick him up you got your killer so i love the pat mahomes tyreek and travis kelsey stack for redraft but tyreek is the go-to man and that's the boom man so play pool is that all these juju, all these guys are not no boom guys. But like they gonna get good games because we are playing a weak a weak team. But when we playing a good team with good solid corners, who's the matchup out there that can't be guarded? Just think about it, bro. I'm, you ask Deontay can be guarded. He's slow, he's a smaller guy, so you can put your hands on him. Claypool, if you put your hands on, he bigger and stronger than you. Most ain't no corners big as him. Ain't no corners tall as him. And most of the corners are probably not fast enough. If you fast him, he gonna out jump you. So Claypool, I that's why I love Claypool. He's matchup proof. I believe the tougher the opponent, the better work he would get. So that's a great question because I want to make sure everybody got that. If you play in Claypool and he's got a tough matchup, just know that's his week. But if he's playing like a real weak team that's easy, that's probably a Deontay smash game because they're going to pepper Deontay, they're going to pepper Juju, maybe a little bit of Ebron too. But tough matchups, it's going to Claypool, bro. So let me finish this, man. Um he says, uh, but yeah, he has a tough schedule. I'm trying to trade for him back in the offseason when he's a bit cheaper. Yeah, I may, hopefully he's cheaper, bro. But if he boom, if he start booming, everybody's going to be on him, man, and you ain't going to be able to get him, bro. So um, because if he, what if he come out this week and say just have a good 25-point game if they do play, and then to say sometime during the playoffs and stuff, all these games that we're going to be watching, he clearly is the go-to man. People are going to hold on to him. So that's the way how I feel about it. That's why I've been uh, stacking them and uh, holding on to him for a while. Okay, Matthew says, uh, at this rate, you will hit 1K soon, bro. I hope so, bro. You, hey, so I'm going to ask you this, Matthew, because I don't know. I've been looking at other channels. In my channel, is it growing fast or is it slow? Is it okay? What is How fast am I growing, guys? Because y'all been watching me for a while. Let me know in the chat. Like somebody hit me up and tell me how quick is my channel? Is it growing? Is it one of your? Is it an elite fantasy football channel compared for? Because I've been doing this four months. So other channels that did it four months, did they grow faster than me or at the same rate or be, or did I grow below them? Like let me know, guys, because that's gonna let me know what I need to do. But yeah, man, I appreciate that statement, bro. That's you know that I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Uh, Rex, what's going on, Rex? Rex says. I just want to take a second to thank Tyreek Hill 
For, yes, I do, man. That's my man. That's my favorite player, man, in the league. I've been telling guys, just look at my videos, guys. I got a video where I projected him to win MVP, and and everybody around me said I was crazy. But guess when I came to work today around some guys that I said it about? What? Guess what they could say? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 yeah, he pretty good. Yeah, he. Bruh, because it's not that's not far fetched. Because I told people he makes Pat Mahomes. Now Pat Mahomes can play with other other teams and other coaches, and he'd be a decent player because he got a strong arm and he's decent act. He's pretty accurate. He's above average accurate. But Tyreek, that's why he's doing what he's doing because he's stretching the field and everybody is wide open. Travis Kelsey, even Travis Kelsey said in the in a um, interview, he's like, man, when Tyreek got here, took my game to another level. So Tyreek Hill is a is a beast, the best receiver in the league, a Hall of Fame receiver. I said what I said. He can play two positions. He's a hybrid. And, guys, that's where the game is going. I'm going to talk more about that in other videos. But the game is changing. You need a, a player that can play. Like, Christian, well, Chris McCaffrey played receiver most of it. But then uh, 10 carries a game, he went back and played running back. He could do that. He's that, that good. He's just as good as Junior Elderman and Wes Worker as far as in the short game. That's I said what I said. So, uh, let me see. Rex says Yep. Let me take a second to thank Tyreek Hill for helping me win this week against the number one guy in my league, who is also my dad. Wow, that's that's awesome, man, to play fantasy football with your dad, man. I'm I'm man, I'm hating on that, bro. I would have loved to do that with my dad, man. My dad, we just competed and we go fishing, and I outfished him most of the time. He respected my fish game, and my dad didn't respect nobody game at all, bro. So that's awesome, man. Ma, yo, what's up, bro, bro? What's good, guys? I hope, don't forget the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Well, what's good, M.A.? I'm glad to see you, man. Rockout says, you at 500 now. I know, man. We're going for that 1,000, though, bruh, bruh. And then we're going for the 2,000. Then we're going for the 10,000, 20,000, all the way up, bruh, past the million. I said what I said. I got to put it in the ether, guys. I got to speak it in existence. ISO only, man. I hope, hey, man, Um, I haven't seen you here, man. I hope you subscribe to the channel, bruh. Thank you for being here, man. I hope you had a great holiday, man. With your Thanksgiving, I hope you ate all you could eat, bruh. He said, yo, what's good, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm here trying to uh, do these questions, man, so we can all win this money, win this money, bro, and compete um, in these leagues, man. He says, uh, should I take a chance on Deontay playing? I don't know, man. I got a whole – I'm in a money league, and I got about three or four players that need to be played from their game. I'm not scared of it. I'm not going to put no Brian Hill in because Brittany Snell might not, might not play. I'm not doing that. I'm just – I don't do that, guys. And you will start getting my gist as I go on and do more lives and, and talk to y'all more and answer more questions because sometimes I feel like it just – I don't care what happens. It don't look clean. It don't look like I can judge it. So I'm not going to play a crap shoot. Maybe in the first two or three weeks I might do that. But I'm not doing that this, right now because I need to win. Or if I'm like 10 and 1, okay, yeah, I might try something. But – um. Should I? He said, "Should I? Should I take a chance on Deontay playing? Yes, if you have to. If if you competing against a guy and he whooping you, and you got to win, like you need boom points, then you do it. But if not, man, no, nah, don't play him. Just get a guy that can give you enough to win the game. But it's all about winning. Do what you got to do to win. If you got to take the L because that that team didn't play, that's fine. Unless you think somebody from tonight's game. That's what I'm gonna do in a in a few. When I get done with this live, I'm gonna go weigh the options. So I'm gonna go look at some some more news outlets." And see if that game is going to get played. If it don't get played, if they talk about it, it's probably not going to get played. Then I go and try to get a bunch of players from, from what I got left and what I can do. If it don't work, then I'm fine with that. But I'm not – I was never going to play no weak play like no B Hill or somebody that is not getting no work and try to hope that I win that way because my, the other teams, like the other slates, might not play. Like, you know, the game might get canceled. So, no, nah, I'm not doing it, bro. Um, and he says, should I take a – should I start Rager? In his place. Yes, that's what I was going to do. I got Rager. I got him, too, on my bench, ready to replace one of these uh, players if they don't play. He said, I'm I'm up 26 going against Metcalf and the Steelers D. Whoo. Metcalf and the Steelers D. So, bruh, you don't got to worry about the Steelers D if the game ain't played. So, so you know, you can stick with Deontay because if Deontay play, then that means the Steelers D's play. So you're gonna have more upside. But if if you just go, rely on tonight, that means all you got to worry about is Metcalf getting 26 points. So to me, with the the best play would be 
I would play Deontay because that guy only got Metcalf if 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 that tank game don't happen. So he's just trying to boom 26. But if he get more than 26, that means you got a chance to get more than 26 too and to beat him again with Deontay. So, bro, I would go ahead and sit, save Deontay for and save save that spot because he got to steal his D. And if he didn't have nobody from that game, then I it, it could be a, boom, a bigger problem. But good question, bro. Seth says, and Juju going to leave in the offseason? Yeah, they're that, that not going to be signed, Juju. Uh, I think he's going to Baltimore. That's just my opinion. That's just my um, me guessing. I'm about to get Claypool back right now. Yeah, man, I think you should, bro. If I could flip KJ Hamlin and can't make us for Claypool, I'd do it. Yeah, do that right now. I, those two guys, KJ Hamlin, even though they, they might be a good players, but they're not going to be a Claypool. ISO only says, no, nah, bro, 500 in a month, definitely fire. You killing it. Oh, really, man? In four months, that's killing it? Thank you, man. So, but you know, you be seeing these guys go thousands, but they big. They they got 10,000, 20,000 subscribers. So, bro, I appreciate that, man. Okay, so I am growing. Matthew says, rate my team. I have Russell Wilson, Miles Sanders, Swift, Thielen, Adams, A.J. Brown, Kittle. You got a championship team, bro. I'm, I'm not blowing no smoke because I'll tell you right now. It's like, no, nah, man, I don't think that's that good. I would tell you that. So I'm not going to blow any smoke, guys. I just want to want y'all to know that in the chat. I'm not going to blow any smoke. I'm going to tell you the truth about your teams. Don't take a personal. I just want you to win, you know, and that's a killer team, bro. You, If you in a 12-team league, somebody can't draft. If you in a 10-team league, I get it. You still kill. If you in 18, then I, it explains a lot. Um, Maybe your team is not. Maybe it's, I would take it down to a, like a B minus Um, if it was a. 18 something. But 12 team, 10 team, man, you, you kill him, bro. Appreciate it, bro. ISO says, keep up the grind. I appreciate it. Uh Rockout says, it sucks that the bad weather tonight. I got DK tonight. Yeah, man. Um, that's fine. You know, it's that's that's football, guys. You can't, you just gotta accept it. Like, just enjoy playing the game. Just enjoy trying to win the money and trying to go for it, man. You don't don't be so much in it. Like, ah, man, I'm mad. That's you don't you don't want to get like that. So the weather, that's okay. <clears throat> it's still not gonna stop DK. What's it gonna give him a couple targets to get it? They're not gonna run it every single time. So that that's okay. Sometimes the bad weather games are big games, the big game, uh, stat games and fantasy games. Oh, and Matthew says five hundred and four months is quick. I appreciate that, Matthew. Okay, so guys, I am doing that. that hey, that make that that motivates me, guys. Just give me even more motivation because, uh, you know, y'all know it's tough. I got I'm working another job. I'm not getting paid for this right now, but I still come home and I'll be tired. I want to go bed. I'm like, nope. I got to do my fantasy channel. I just get an uplifting spirit and I think about some of the comments that y'all send me, man, and telling me to keep grinding, bro, and support me. And a lot of you, man, I've been looking for negative comments, and y'all are not negative, man. I love this group of guys. You know, you keep it real. You tell me, like, Terry, this is all, this is nice, or where this video at, and keep it real with me. But y'all don't be like, hey, man, you was leaning to the side like this, man, so your video was off. Man, what is that in the background, man? That's not right. Like, y'all don't be doing that, man. And I appreciate that, guys. Y'all, you know, y'all is a great group of audience of subscribers. And I appreciate it. Um, Ian Taylor says, should I play Rager tonight or risk Nail tomorrow? Bro, that's, hey, ain't that, man, that's weird. I got Rager and Snail, and I'm that's what my that's my things that I'm doing. Like, should I play Rager? Should I play Snail? So what I'm going to tell you real quick, bro, bro, is just wait into about, Wait until tonight's game. They should tell you, man, about tonight's game before it starts, about 30 minutes. They should be like, hey, they found out somebody else got COVID. They ain't going to travel. They ain't going to have a game. And then you go ahead and you – even if you got to get somebody weak that might not even come in the game, like Richard Rodgers or something like that, just to win tonight's game, try to win tonight's game, that's fine. And, and I take an L like that. So, uh, so yeah, bro, Um, just wait till the end. But I would say keep Snail, man, because Snail has more a bigger upside than Rager because of Connor out. Um, especially uh, in the, with the snow game too. So um, you need twelve points. Um, yeah, man. I don't know what league or like PPR regular, but it still sounds good getting it from the running back that has a lot of touchdown upside. Rager could, I don't tell him they could win the game without even using him. So, ah. Uh, yeah, man, I, I I would just say wait it out until about an hour before the game, and then if they ain't said nothing, they the game is still going on, I'm going to ride it out. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm not going to be mad because they canceled it tomorrow and they didn't tell me tonight. So that's what I'm going to do, bro. 
Uzi, what's good, bro, bro? Uzi in the house. I so say, hell yeah, I sub. I'm glad you sub, bro. Hey, tell your friends and your homies to sub, guys. Because uh, we, we need to grow this community so we can be the best out here. The fantasy good sports community, guys. And, and football is not the only thing I'm going to do either, guys. I'm going to do basketballs coming up. I'm going to do some basketball. Um, now I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I'm, 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 I'm decent at basketball, but I'm not. This is my, you know, football is my thing. Now, basketball, I'm pretty good at it, too, but I'm going to get other help, other people to come on to the channel to give you advice, guys. And baseball, I'm going to do it all, guys. So I'm just going to give you all a little context of what's coming down the pipe. Uh, Grant, yeah, what's going on, Grant, man? I hope, I'm glad you're here, man. I hope you subscribe to the channel, man. I'm glad you're here, bro, bro. He says, new, but you the, you the realest fantasy YouTuber, man. Guys, quit blowing smoke, man. I, I, I feel, I'm, thank you, bro. I'm, I'm, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying, I'm being myself. And um, I'm doing fantasy football that I always love, guys. I never, you know, I'm all. Sometimes I think I'm like, why do I sit here and watch YouTube? I don't really, cause I went big on like, I'm really not a big phone person, cause I'm more, as I'll tell, I'm engaged. So when I'm engaged here, I don't be engaged with other people talking to them about whatever it is and be on my phone. So I really wasn't a big YouTuber. But as some things happened in my life and some things changed. Um, I was trying to look away where I didn't want to be told what to do on the at a job anymore because people took advantage of that. I would I would go hard and I would never get never reap the benefits that I thought I should reap. And then one day I was like, "Well, TV, you can do YouTube," but it was like overbearing because I had to, I didn't edit videos, but I had a guy that God put a guy in front of me, man, that does that. So he helped me. I helped him, and I just started going and started uh, researching and going on YouTube, man, and started this channel, guys. So. Um, and I want to get advice to all y'all that anything that you want to do, you just do it. Don't be scared of what people going to say. So, guys, I'm always, you know, we can always we can talk football, but I'm always going to give you life lessons, too, man, that I know. You know, I'm only 33, so I only can speak for my age. But, hey, don't whatever you want to do, man, you do it in life, man. Uh, let me see. Grant Yen says, uh, but yeah, man, thank you, Grant Yen. Thank you, bro, bro. M.A. says, who do you think is the better play? Snell or Miles Sanders? Man, that's a tricky one, but you know I'm gonna have to say Miles Sanders because he got the name. So Snell ain't had he ain't been getting work all year. So um I would say Miles Sanders, especially with the weather game. That means they're gonna bail count him a little bit more. Um, but the they can hurt him in PPR a little bit. Um but I like Snell and Standard, but I like Miles in uh PPR. Uzi says Miles Sanders is going to eat today. Yeah, I think so too. Cause especially with the weather game, I just worried about his PPR. I just want to. I hope it ain't too bad where he can't catch passes, cause that's part of Miles Sanders' game. That's like playing Austin Eckler, but it's a bad weather game. You like, damn, well, is he gonna be the catch the ball? Cause that's kind of why why he boom. ISO says ISO only says I like how the last game Rager had like three red zone targets. Okay, okay, so Rager, so they do look for Rager in the red zone. See, so, well, I don't, cause guys, I can't watch every single game but i watch snippets of every game and i didn't know that he had like red zone targets i thought they were just normal targets but that does make me feel a little bit better that they are looking for him in the red zone that means that he can jump on uh, he, he's the lion and you know, and with his hands rex captor what's going on bro bro in the chat paper as always i have randy bullock but the Bengals can't seem to get to the red zone for field goals i'm thinking of picking up the rams kicker matt gay he has a nice schedule and the Rams are pretty good thoughts. Yeah, man. Um, what I would say, um, I like kickers like maybe like Arizona high, like offenses that, that are good between the twenties and that struggle a little bit to get in the red zone. How do you research that? I don't know. I kind of just watch the games and can figure that out and go off some stats about what field goal kickers and stuff do and, and how uh, the quarterback is doing in the red zone. But, yeah, man, I try to get guys that they move the ball, but when they get in the red zone, they might not score that much. Uh, so to give you a team right now, I don't know. But, yeah, I would probably get off the Bengals because they don't seem like they're going to be scoring a lot, bro. And if I was, if I thought they was good between the 20s, I was like, well, you stick with them. But I don't even know if they're going to get in, like, field goal, um, get in the field goal areas a lot to where they can attempt one. I don't even know if that's going to happen, man. Rockout says, would you get Fogum or Rager if the Steelers don't play? Rager. 
uh, I, Rager, no matter what has happened with Fogum, Fogum's had some real big duds, and Rager still he hasn't had that since he's come back off the injury. So that's just a safer play to go with Rager. Uzi said, I need him to go off. I got you, bro, bro. Um, Rock out says, not PPR. Okay, so let me go up here to we'll see Rock out at. Okay, no PPR. You need what I get, Fogum or Rager, if still just don't play. No PPR. Still Rager. Still Rager, bro, bro. ISO only says... Yeah, maybe because he a small little guy, he easier in the red zone. Yeah, maybe because he's a smaller guy, he easier in the red zone. Okay. I think you're talking about Rager here. I think so, man. If not, man, just hit me up with another question, bro. I hope I because I don't want to, you know, just gloss over your question. Um Jay Fang says, What's good, bro? I'm, what's good, man? What's good, bro? I'm glad to see you here, man. You hey, you faithful. You always in the chat, bro, bro. He said, uh, think a few years in the future, who do you see being the best wide receiver, DK or Claypool? I like that. And I'm gonna give you somebody outside of them. But 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 out of those two, I'm gonna tell you about those two. Claypool. DK still gonna be a beast. He's still gonna be like a top five, top six. Only reason why he won't be number one and number two or three is because he doesn't catch the ball consistently enough. He's going to drop some, some plays that he should make. But that's okay But when you a beast like that. So Claypool will be better in the long run. Both of them, um, I just believe Claypool's on Hall of Fame. DK can do that too, but I'm not just – I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go around and say, uh, yeah, mark that. DK Hall of Fame. Claypool, I would mark that before I would do with DK. So, but the better – and this guy might be even better than Claypool, but I don't think so. I would still play Claypool. I like A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown is better than D.K. People don't know that. A.J. Brown is a monster, bro. Good hands. Bro, he was the only All-American to play base, to play All-American in high school to play baseball and um and football. He was All-American in both. Uh, Colin Mary, I think, did that too. But there's only been like two people in the whole history of the United States to make All-American in two sports, bro. That shows you his eye coordination, bro. Like him catching the ball, his skill, he big, he can move. Bro, that's a hill monster. So, uh, but I like Claypool over um DK. But we we talking about a lot of good receivers here too. Uzi says I'm down by six with Sanders, and my opponent has Claypool. Quietly hoping they don't play. I got you, bro. I listen, listen. We all got our own battles. I'm not mad at you. Um, I, I and I don't want to go. I wouldn't want to go against Claypool either. Even though you got the bat and he got the receiver, you don't want to go against that because you know Claypool can be a monster. And man. You know, with everything that's happening, I think they'll run the ball a little bit more, so that might save you. But I'm still going to put Claypool in my lineup because they might run up in the round to him or something. So, yeah, man, I, I get what you're saying, bro. Um, I think you still – so you in a – you I think you got the Catbird shit. Uh, I said Kurt, Catbird. You got the Catbird seat because um, you got the back, and it's, the weather is going to be bad in both of these games. ISO says, no, I was trying to say Ray – Rager, a smaller, shifty guy towards the red zone. Okay. Okay, I got you, bro, bro. I figured that's what you was trying to say. Yeah, Rager, he's good in the red zone, man. He's he's a smaller guy, but he can jump and stuff too, man. He was real explosive uh, at TCU. Uh, he said, I had no clue how to say it. Oh, yeah, you good, bro. <laughs> you good. Jake Turo, man. Oh, hey, but man, I'm glad you're here, man. Hit the thumbs up button, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm glad to see you, bro, bro. I haven't seen you in here before. He says, how do you feel about Kamara without Breeze? Okay, so that, I'm just going to stop right there that, with that period right there. Okay, so um, you got to keep playing um, Kamara. So I, I hear uh, – I think um, Abre, he ain't in here right now, but it's one of my subscribers. He was like, Terry, man, I'm – Man, I'm I'm sitting Kamara, and I said like, I feel you. I said 100. I understand what you're saying, but I'm not. Um, I'm never gonna sit a guy like that's like. So you telling me if you had Christian McCaffrey and the quarterback came in that couldn't throw it all and took away all his passes, that you still gonna sit CMC for your playoffs or play for a game? No, you can't do that, guys. You I got you got to play him. So if you want to get cute, I'm not gonna tell you not to do this. If you want to get cute and get somebody off the way, well, like a Devontae Booker and put him over Kamara, it might hit. 
but I'm not going to do it because what if Alvin Kamara have an 80 yard touchdown? This one, like you, you this guy can play. So they just got to find. They gonna trust me. They are talking in these meetings today. How is Taysom Hill going to be able to get Alvin involved? Not not just Latavius. They talking like this. So I'm not sitting my bail cow, on my first round pick for nobody. I'm not. I'm. I'm just not doing it, man. But I feel what you're saying though. And um, let me see. Let me see what you said. Okay. He said, how do you feel about Kamara without Breeze? That's how I feel. I feel like you got to keep playing him, and when Breeze come back, it's, it's galore time. Like, you're going to kill then, most definitely. Dave had easy wins, but still concerning how little he's been used. I get it, man. You're right. But what can you do when you drafted a guy like that? Like, if you just want to if you just want to go ahead and stream somebody else, that's fine. I just can't do it, man. Like I said, I don't see the future, so I, I got to play with – I got to play with the guys that bought me there. Uzi says, get Mahomes MVP again. It's amazing. Pat Mahomes MVP again. It's amazing. Yeah, bro, but you know what? Um, I think Tyreek Hill is the MVP. I know you're not going to agree with me. And that's fine because I get why Pat Mahomes are numbers the game. Every game, he's throwing every ball. He's touching every ball. He's the one that's throwing it to Tyreek, right, and throwing it to the other guys. But if you take Tyreek Hill off this team, man, the whole offense goes down. They're not stretching the field like, like they are. And Andy Reid's great. He's going to win some games. As far as scoring 30 points, 40 points. Then that's not going to happen that much. So Tyreek Hills to me is the MVP of both of the team and NFL. Um the reason why, because just ha- I just man, I think what he's doing is is, is a, a extraordinary, man. Like I don't need to see, I didn't need to see that game. I already knew what he was. So um, let me see. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, but I got you, bro. Yep, Mahomes probably gonna win the MVP again. ISO says, I finally got Eckler back. Me too, man. Hey, you got to – man, your team reminds me of my team, bro. I got – I finally got Eckler back, and the guy's still whooping me, man. I got, like – I'm probably going to have the biggest scoring week I had, but he got 232. I told you the average is, like, 140. So uh, – but Eckler, he boomed for me, man. So, I, yeah, man, uh, that was a good pickup and good stash way not to drop him or trade him. He says, I finally got Eckler back, but I have no clue what's going on with Kenny G. Kenny G is one of those players. It's not Kenny G. Kenny G is talented. But Kenny G is one of those players that I'm not playing him because of the offense, but the coach just got fired. So Kenny G might be a, a nice sleeper next year, guys, because I don't like him in the way they used him uh, in Detroit with, with the regime that they had. But when they get rid of this regime, which they just did, I like Kenny G going forward, but not this year, bro. Um, I just – it just – it's too many weapons on there. They don't know what they don't know if they want to run it. They don't want to, if they want to pass it. They're trying to be like New England, change it up every week. You can't do that. You got to have an identity. So I just Kenny G, man, he just caught in the um the crossfire, bro. ISO says, now nah, Uzi Derrick Henry MVP. Mmm. Derrick Henry, he, he trying, hey, they all fighting for it. You know, they all got a choice. But Derrick Henry, man, it's gonna be hard to be the quarterback out. That's like me saying about Tyree Kill. But uh, if Derrick Henry finished like he finished for the rest of the season and he have over 130 yards a game, you might be right. Uzi says, three years starting, two MVPs. Super Bowl MVP, maybe even two. Yeah, you're right, man. But look who he had. Tyreek Hill, what did he do with Alex Smith? He killed, didn't he? Then, then he get Pat Mahomes coming in, what? He killed again. So I just want to see Pat Mahomes with that like a Tyreek Hill player. If he could do that without Tyreek Hill, have Sammy Watkins breaking wide open, throwing for 460 yards, then I say, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Pat Mahomes MVP. But I, I believe that's all through Tyreek Hill. Uh, M.A. says, just in, just in, league is considering moving Ravens and Steelers. Steelers. Okay, M.A., tell me real quick. Um... Where are they considering moving it? Like moving it to another place or or not playing the game? Because I'm going to have to skip, guys. I'm going to skip your questions because I got to know this. This is something that everybody need in the chat. So, M.A., go ahead. Would you? So, go ahead, M.A., answer that question. What, um, what are um, what are they going to move the game to? Because, guys, I don't want to get caught up and he give me this information and I missed it. This is very important. 
Okay, well, since he's waiting, let me go ahead and see what I, what kind of news I've got. Okay, I see it. They says NFL is pondering a third pro postponement. Okay, to later this week. So that, is that still gonna count for fan fantasy? Have you heard that? Is that still gonna count for fantasy? Have you heard? Because um, that's big. Cause I um, cause you know we got a Thursday game coming up, so I don't know. Maybe they just move the Thursday game back and make them let them play Thursday. I'm not sure. Okay, guys. So that's what we're gonna have to find out, man. That's gonna be big, guys. So listen, when we get out of this live, we all need to go and search and find out if you got players in that in this game. Wow. Okay. So let me go ahead and answer these questions. ISO says, everyone knows Derrick Henry getting the ball. They still can't stop him. That's true. And I'm a Texans fan, but I think he's the MVP. I feel you, bro. Uzi says, Tyreek, best receiver in the league, and he's not, it's not even close. I, I agree with that, man. I agree. But do you, do you, so do you remember Randy Moss, man? Do you remember how Randy Moss made the, some quarterbacks? Like Dante Culpepper was a killer, and Randy Moss left. He, he, man, he, he didn't last even three games. I'm talking about after, not even the injury, not even the injury that ended his career. So I believe, man, receivers can make quarterbacks too, Uzi. But I, you're right. He is definitely the best receiver in the league. I've been saying that. Yeah, Jake, I'm, I'm glad you saw bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, guys, if you're new in here. And also subscribe to the channel. Uh, Marlon Day says, how confident are you in the Chiefs DST at Miami in week 14? Uh, there's nothing to be confident in. They going to hold true. They can make plays. They can make turnovers. It's better than nothing. It's better than a lot of other defenses. That's all, but it's nothing special. He said, or do you suggest Washington at San Francisco or Panthers versus Denver? Uh, maybe Panthers uh, versus Denver um, because that just gives you more upside with turnovers. Uh, and also Washington at San Francisco because that front is real. So I'd rather have somebody that's going to give me some quarterback sacks. I don't know how your def defense counts points, like for stacks, uh, sacks, I'm sorry, sacks and um, interceptions. So I will look for more of that, man, with the interceptions and stuff. Uh, let me see. Do you suggest Washington? But, yeah, man, uh, but I, Panthers and versus uh, Denver is not a bad play either. In May, uh, I think I know who that is, but uh, he – uh, he says, what's going on, man? Uh, he says, would you play high or B. Scott? Mm, nice question. With the weather, bruh, bruh. High going to get some tote. High going to get some tote, man. So I might would play high over B. Scott. Um. Only way Boston Scott is a big play. If Boston Scott hits on a big play, then yeah, uh, he he can probably outscore Hyde. But Hyde, I believe, would have more carries. I don't believe that Carson, Chris Carson, is going to have twenty five carries. But I do believe he have fifteen carries, maybe twelve, and then maybe they give it another guy ten, ten to twelve. So uh, I would say Hyde, man. But that's a great question, man. Um, or one of the Seattle tight ends like Richard Rodgers. I'm in a, I'm down 10 points. I got you, bro. I think I know who you is. Um, I can't go with no backup tight end, uh, even though he gets a lot of work on the field and he could hit, bro. But that's, I'm not going, I wouldn't dare do you that be waiting on a backup tight end to get catches. That just, that's not a good, I don't even want to watch that game because I'm feeling bad until he get it early. Then I'm like, okay, I can watch the game now. Uh, but man, this, mm, but bro, he, if you went with B. Scott, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, you know, you got to look at the weather. You got to see when you think they're going to rotate Sanders out and put B. Scott in and what you expect B. Scott to do, break a long run. You think he's going to get a, a, a green zone touch, like a fall in touchdown? I don't think so. Uh, I, I feel that way about Hyde. They would probably get Carson, but Carson's coming back off the injury. It's raining. I don't know if they just want to put Carson out there. They probably want him for the playoffs. So I believe Hyde, because he ran so good, is probably the safest play, man, out of that and out of Richard Rodgers, the tight end spot. So that's what I would do, bro. bro. But great question, man. That's a that's a great that's a 
That's a debate right there. ISO says Hopkins still the best, in my uh, opinion. Uh, he's good, man. He's a top five receiver, um, maybe six or something like that. But I don't. I think. I think, man, not because they're getting old. I just. I don't know if he's better than Tyreek Hill. I'd rather, if I'm a defense, I'd rather play D Hop than play Tyreek. Because Tyreek Hill, I'm gonna have to back up everybody and I'm gonna get killed underneath. Okay, so MA says to later this week, uh the bleacher reports. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, we asked, we I already read that. Okay. But uh, Rex says this is this just in. Packers just signed veteran Tavon Austin. Uh yeah, I don't know what they're gonna use him for. Um, maybe they just need somebody to help stretch the field. You know, maybe MVS got uh might not be there for them. They can't count on MVS or something. But uh, I'll tra- tra- Trayvon Trayvon Austin is not going to do anything. I think that guy is. I like him coming out of college, man. I just it didn't. I think he's with the wrong offense. T Hill, yeah, Tyreek Hill. I'm, t- I'm pretty sure you. T- yeah, man, he he was a killer, man. That's why I got him on my team, bro. Because I know I I didn't my first year playing, man. I could see I like oh the guys that boom. Is the, is the guys that can beat you, not the guys that can give you a safe floor. It's the guys that can boom. So I'm always trying to draft players that can boom. So I get you, bro, bro. I'm sorry about that, man. Matthew says into Devontae. Okay, I'm Devontae is close. I guess he said I like Devontae is close. Tyreek just cause he's way more consistent. Um, okay. Um, I still like top I man. Imagine Devontae. Yeah, Devontae got Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball, and Devontae is a good receiver regardless of whoever his quarterback is. I'm just thinking if I'm the defense, what's what's gonna like make me more susceptible to lose the game and make me scared where where I, I get my my defense could blow off the tank off the field? It's Tyreek Hill. Devontae Adams, I can at least contend for the balls. Like, I'm not worried about somebody outrunning me and just making me look dumb. I can actually try to fight, double team, or do something. So that's the only difference, man. But I get what you're saying, man. Devontae Adams is a beast. Uh, Levi says, I scored 160 this week, and I'm up by 20, but I'm going to lose. Why? Who we got, Levi? Um, And then he said, also, Kamara is killing me. Yeah, man. Is that Taysom Hill, bro, bro? Okay, I see you was talking about Taysom Hill. Okay, I see what you're saying, Levi. My bad. Um, yeah, man. Sometimes that's how fantasy work, man. Um, so you had a nice little killer team. You had Kamara and all that, and he was killing. But sometimes stuff changed, man. You just got to deal with it. So think, something else can change, man. One of your guys could go down for COVID, like the guy that you're playing against. He could, His best player could go down with COVID, and you can keep in the playing field. So don't worry about it, man. Everybody got to go through something. So uh, Rex says, my defense, the Bills, are playing the Steelers this week. Who should I stream? The the deep, My defense, the Bills, are playing the Steelers this week. Who should I stream? Uh, you talking about as in defense, Rex? My defense, the Bills. My defense, okay. The Bills are playing the Steelers week 14. Who should I stream? Um, I don't know, bro. You got to give me some players that you' looking at. But give me a little bit more context. Just put it back in. The, just ask another question, bro, and I I can help you with that because I can't. I think I know what you're talking about, but I need a little bit more context. Uh, Levi says, need locker, lock it, Claypool and still is DST to score under twenty. Okay, lock it, Claypool. It's still as DST, yeah. They lock it in. Lock it can give you a dud, but I don't know about Claypool. Both of them giving you duds for under 20. One of them at least can give you 20, and the other one can give you a dud. Both of them can give you 12. So, yeah, bro, it's, but, you know, I just watch the game and wait and see. I've seen crazy things happen in fantasy, man. MA says, I'm desperate, bro. Left out. Can't rely on this game getting postponed. I get you, man. I know what you mean. Uh, Yeah, bro, I, I, I got you. Um. Go with the safe play then, bro. Go with the safe play because I get it, man. I'm not gonna tell nobody to wait for a game that you don't even get, you don't even register, and you and you need ten points. So go get the ten points, man. 
if you want to go, I would try to go get it by Rager or something. I don't, I wouldn't try to go get that with Richard Rogers, bro. But that's, you know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. You got you in a bind. So I get it, bro. It really ain't no wrong answer because, because we don't know what's going to happen. So I get it. That's my bro, my, my homeboy Anderson. That's what I'm going to start calling you, man. Uh, Mr. Anderson. But yeah, good, good, good question, um, Mr. Anderson. Good question, bro, bro. Uh, ISO says, I think I'm just going to start Rager. Something to root for tonight. I got you, bro, bro. Uh, I had a, somebody tell me that. And I do that sometimes. Like, well, I'm just going to pick him because it, 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 I can watch it. Uh, <laughs> he said, laugh out loud. Laugh. Yes, sir. Um, but um, I get you, man. Guys, I'm going to wait it out because I, I still got one more game this week that I can't win. I'm just not going to put. Rega out there, and then these guys could have scored, and I could have won. So I'm going to wait on it. But I get y'all. I get you. See, I, sometimes you got to hold true, you know? It's just like the stock market. Oh, man, you better sell. You better sell, man. This is going on. And I get that. I'm not making fun of nobody. I'm just – because I get that. But sometimes people, you know, it's just easy. Like, oh, man, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I need my money. So you get your money, and all of a sudden that thing, boom. And that's the difference between being – having $20, 30000000 million dollars or having two or 300,000. That's how I feel. So I'm going to hold true because now if it was all on this week, I had to win this week. And next week, if I lose like this week, I couldn't win next week and go to the playoffs, then maybe I'll make a different decision. But I still got another chance of going, of winning and going to the playoffs next week, if, even if I lose this week. All right. So it says, I think I'm just going, yeah, okay, you said that. So, uh, Eric Brewer, what's going on, Eric? Hey, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, bro, bro. He said, Eckler won me my game this week. Good looks. I, I man, Eckler, hey, he didn't win it, but uh, he he got me in, in contention. Uh, ISO says, you think Wayne Gallman is going to be a solid streamer the rest of the season? In the playoffs, bro, I do. But, guys, that's a, and that's a great question, man. I got to go back. The quarterback went down. That's not good. That's, that's not – because – the main reason was other things. It was like, I liked the way Daniel Jones was playing. I liked his trends. I liked the way Gallman was getting plays in the green zone. If they don't got, if they don't respect their quarterback, if Colt McCoy is not pushing the ball downfield, they might bring him in and, and stop Gallman. So Gallman, you might have to just wait it out and see. So I'm not going to tell you to do anything with Gallman yet. And let's see what the quarterback situation, what happens with the quarterback situation. But yeah, guys. But, yeah, it's, man, it's going to be tricky tonight. So let me see some things. Let me see what's going on. It says I got some information right here. Let's see what it says. It says NFL pondering about moving the game. Okay, it says NFL is now pondering a third postponement of the Graven Steelers game to later this week per league source game already has been moved from Thanksgiving to Sunday to Tuesday, and that could be moved again. So that's being it's tricky guys. Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Okay. They said they moved it to Wednesday. Yeah, I see. Look, my, my, hey, Mr. Anderson, he's on it. He's on it. As soon as I looked, I looked uh, at the chat. Yep, they said they moved it to Wednesday, guys. I just got alert. It says the Week 12 game between the Ravens and Steelers has been moved to Wednesday. But that's still a risk. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean it's going to get played. So, Yep, so Baltimore versus Pittsburgh officially moved to Wednesday, 83-7 Project. Yeah, hey, man, I'm glad to see you here at 83-7 Project. I hope you subscribe to the channel, man. Guys, hit the thumbs up button if you uh, haven't yet. So uh, let me talk a little bit more about this uh, this game tonight, guys. And then uh, if y'all don't have any more questions, I'm going to move on. Also, guys, if you need help doing the playoffs, guys, um, and you need like, you know, it's more questions than you can ask in the in the chat, and you need a breakdown of several teams, guys, do a consultation. 
I 30 minutes, we can talk about whatever you need. I can give you my advice. Like I said, it's advice. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm going to give you my advice, guys. And um, I think it, I had a client to do it this week, and it helped them out a lot, guys. So uh, if y'all want to do that, you know, just hit me up and go to my uh, website at fantasygoodsportstd.com and you know, set up a consultation because I know you, you're just going to be going to have to make some decisions and it is what it is, you know. So uh, let me see something. OK, so, yeah, um, Mal Sanders, Chris Carson. And Jalen Hurts. I feel like they're going to rotate Jalen Hurts in there, too. So I might put him in the lineup tonight just for the, you know, for the DFS. You know. Okay, so hold on. He says, Levi says, if they play that game, then I'm not, then I'm out the playoffs. I feel you, bro. I, hey, I don't mind. You can, hey, you can wish that game don't get played. That doesn't bother me, bro. Um, Isaac says, I need Russell Wilson, Dobbins, and Tucker to get me 34, so I'm screwed if they don't play on Wednesday. Yeah, man, I hope you don't got Dobbins in there, man, because Dobbins is out. But Russell Wilson's playing tonight, and Tucker is kicking the game. I'm kicking for the uh, Baltimore if they play the game. But, yeah, don't play Dobbins, man, because he's out. Uh, the 87, 837 says, you think this game will count for the week? I think so. If they play it on Wednesday, yes, it's going to play. Anytime they play it this week, like before the game, the new games come up, even Thursday, if they play it after Thursday, it will count. Um, I'm thinking. I don't – the Thursday – because I think they, what they'll do is move the Thursday game back if they have to. But um, I think we got at least into Thursday night until that new game for the new week has started. That They not they don't want to do that. And he says, and will Pitt and Baltimore games next week get pushed back? Probably. I don't know about Pittsburgh, but Baltimore game, yeah. The Baltimore games probably will be pushed back. They, that's the problem. They need Baltimore to get this game in so they can help them going forward with moving the schedule. That's why they're so hard up on this game. Galan, man, glad to see you here, man. I'll hit the thumbs up button, bro. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. I'm glad you're here, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate you being here, man. He says, week 12, Rager, Boston Scott, got it, or Deontay Johnson, beating Snell, or got it? Week 12. Um, so I guess you're asking me for one guy. So if you're asking me for one guy, I would say Benny Snell if the game is played. But if, if that game is not played, then I would say got it over Boston Scott. Um, I'm not, That's a backup running back. So I would tell you, you got it. But if you want to go for the, the whole slot, there's one play I like, Benny. Isaac says, man, I didn't know Dobbins was out. Yeah, man, Dobbins is out, bro, bro. So don't play Dobbins. He got COVID. Um, so, yeah, you're going to hit them waiver wires before you before tonight's game. Um, Isaac said, yeah, he was a positive, I think. Yep. I got you already, bro. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the stream, guys. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. Let me see what he says. Let me clarify. I have three guys to play. Mention above. Okay. Let me see. So, I'm not going to – I'm just going to talk all together because it ain't enough guys to do it if the game ain't played. But I'm going to give you three guys. I like Benny. I like Goddard. Benny. Okay. Let me see. Benny. Rager and Deontay. So not got it. I like Rager, Deontay, and Benny. Yeah, bro. You welcome for the uh, vice ISO. Yep. Yeah, man. Y'all welcome. Man, don't um it's up to you, man. I'm going with the risk. So you got to decide that. All I can do if you decide to go with the risk and tell you like it's a it's a better smash play. Like you got Benny Snell, that and he has nobody taking his carries. Anthony McFarland might come and get a little pass routes, but he getting all the bell cow and all the green zone touches. So um, 
So, man, it's up to you, man. If you just feel it how you feel it. If you think that they're going to play it, then hold off. If not, then go ahead and um get your um play your eagle player tonight. Thank you, man, Matthew. I, I'm glad it was fire, brother. I appreciate it. Um, 837 says, keep it up, bro. I love the show. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, guys, share my content. Uh, subscribe to the channel and share it to your friends and stuff. Um, guys, thank you. That's all I can say, man. I'm, 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 uh, I'm amused, guys, in a good way. Uh, yep. Appreciate you too, bro, bro. So, guys, I'm going to get on out of here so I can start working on the lineups and doing some other things. Guys, like I said, uh, if you're new here, um, subscribe to the channel. If not, uh, thumbs up this button if you're still here in the uh, live. And, guys, I'll see you later. Um, let me see what this guy just says. Guys, I'm going to put the PayPal back in here. Like, I'm not putting, trying to force this down your throat. I'm just letting it know because new people are coming in now after chat. So, guys, you know, if you just want to, you know, donate because I'm not monetized yet, so y'all can't do super chats. Consciousness team. Yo, you was here yesterday. Huh? Yeah, you was, bro, bro. He says, Kirk and Mal, Kirk and Mike Williams shit their pants, but I did win already. I'm the number one seed. Thank you for the advice. Either way. Um, I told you to play. So, bro, I told you to play Kirk. Tell me, who did I tell you to play Kirk over? Like, because I if, I will tell you to play Kirk, but only if um you didn't have any better options. Because I really went big on Kirk, but I want to know that, man, so I can get better. Who did I tell you, um, Conscious Machine, to play Kirk and Mike over? Thank you, Conscious Machine. Yep. You should make a Twitch, bro. Okay, so guys, I was trying to dominate here first and get a good following here, but you saying I should go ahead and do those things and get a VMO account? Y'all says uh, you should get to make a Twitch, bro, and then somebody says create a, v a VMO account. I think that's how you spell VMO account. I said, Mike, okay, did I tell you to play Kirk? Because I did. I, t I know I said, I think I remember telling you to play Mike and Keenan so you can get one of the, those points some kind of way. Was that you, Conscious Machine, where I told you to play both guys? Because that's I remember. Because I'm very, I, I got a good memory. That's why I want to know. I'm not, uh, I know, um, I know sometimes I'm going to be wrong. You know, that's okay. But I just like to know. So I, I was like, okay, well, I was wrong on that. And let me go back and assess that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, yeah, bro, it's all good. It's all good. I just want to know, um, because hey, that should have been a better slate, man. But Austin Eckler took those took those targets. I don't think me and you, me, both of us, didn't know that Austin Eckler was gonna get those type of targets. Sixteen targets in the past game, five, six of them will usually be the Mike. So yeah, man. But yeah, it's all good. So guys, I'm gonna see y'all later, man. I'm, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Y'all have a great day, guys. But yeah, hold on, hold on before I go. I gotta do that. I'm gonna do that VMO count. Let me write this down real quick. Okay. Venmo. Venmo account. Okay. And then what else you said? Um you should make a Twitch, bro. Okay, a Twitch. Okay. Let me see what y'all said real quick. Um Mike outscored them. Okay. 100%. Yep. Easy way to pay. Okay. All right. Yeah, bro. I'm about to get on that, bro. So, guys, thank you guys for tuning in, man. This is the best subscribers in the whole world, guys. Y'all be safe.